<clears throat> okay guys so uh, in this part we will create uh, basically uh, disappearing blocks and we'll make our blocks uh, yeah disappear so uh, to do that I thought of two uh, approaches and I still don't know which one is better but I will do the one that is more uh, clear and that is a bit more easy or easier then okay they, they basically they are the same but uh, the difference between them is uh, should I ask uh, add a script to a blog and make it ask uh, did I got a hit from a player or to add the script to a player which will detect if I hit the block and then I will make the block disappear but I chose to uh, to do the first approach that the block will basically have a script and uh, it will uh, basically ask a question to itself uh, did I get hit by a player and I do it that way because I think this is more readable and more easy to maintain so uh, let's do that guys so first let's go to the scripts and uh, as we as you can see we have few scripts and I think we can now uh, segre segregate it a bit more so let's create a new folder we will uh, create a folder called manager and here we'll, we will just make uh, we will just drag the manager scripts and also we want to add a folder for player and we want to drag player uh, controller there and player vfx and oh my gosh working too slow okay and the input data is just a scriptable object so we can uh, basically go to asset as uh, or no go let's go to the script let's create a new folder called scriptable object and let's drag it in here so we will create a new folder which will be a uh, folder for our for our blocks so we'll call it block and inside here we'll we'll add a new script and it will be called uh, block simple name and we will add one more script and i will explain them uh, in a few seconds so we'll we want to add one more script that will be called mm, where is it block manager and let's drag it into the manager uh, folder so now let's open uh, the block script by double clicking on it okay so after we've done this part uh, let's actually make the block script so I will do the more easy approach and I will try to explain everything so basically we will not use system collection generic and the collections and we will just use unity engine and also we will use a using system and thanks to that we will get access to um, the all the good stuff from the system library and uh, I mean good stuff I mean uh, for example delegates and uh, if you don't know what delegates uh, it's basically uh, a thing that you use to uh, call uh, make other functions uh, call when you raise some event so for example I will write down one thing I'll try to explain it very easily so first I will write it down if you already know what is uh, all this stuff that I'm writing right now, uh, you can skip this part. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll tr now try to explain it. So basically, uh, this thing we called a delegate, and basically, action is means that we are raising an event, so we are making some new event. That is called on being hit and we'll raise that and 
from the other script we can subscribe to that event and all the subscribers that are subscribed to this event will be triggered once we uh, trigger this event so for example i will give more uh, live example so for example if you have a, a youtuber and you are subscribed to him and you have this uh, bell notification so er every time uh, he upload a video uh, you get this uh, notification and then you watch the, the video that he uploaded so the event is him uploading the video and uh, the subscribers that are subscribing to, to this event are you the viewers and the thing that you do is you watch the the video I know it's not a good example but uh, it will be more clear once we uh, write it down. So I'll try to explain it uh, more later. So we have to declare a public event. Event basically means that we can only subscribe and uh, unsubscribe from this uh, event. And it's just uh, another layer of protection. So we can't uh, overwrite this thing. So we call our new event uh, on being hit. Actions means that we want to uh, return return void basically so we want to do something when we are uh, hit so we want to make our block disappear so uh, let's delete start and update because we will not need those we will need uh, on collision enter to d so here inside on collision enter to d we just want to uh, trigger our event so we just want to say that whoa I was hit so everyone that is listening to me now you can do the thing that you want so we first we have to check if this event is not null which means that uh, there's some method from outside uh, actually listening to us otherwise there's no point to trigger this event if no one is uh, listening to us so we want to trigger this event so uh, if we got hit we want to trigger this event and now let's go back to the project and let's open a new script uh, that we created so it will be block manager okay so in block manager we will uh, need few things so let's go here and let's write uh, we'll need uh, an array of blocks so we will have an array that stores all, all the blocks that are uh, in our scene. So let's write, it will be, it's going to be public. It will be easier for us uh, later, I think. So for now, we will keep it uh, public. Then we can change it. So it will be block array. And also we will need a counter that uh, counts uh, how many blocks we have in our uh, scene so we can change it later so it will be uh, our right serialized field so it will basically be visible in the inspector so i can i could also write uh, public but i prefer to write serialized field basically this uh, variable variable is still private but we only want to show it in inspector but it will not be accessible from the other scripts so uh, let's go down we want to have a method that will subscribe to this block event that we created so we want to subscribe to each block and what do we want to do we want to basically uh, <clears throat> decrease the number of the blocks that are on our scene so let's delete start and update because we will not need those and let's write a new function called uh, decrease block count and now here we just want to decrease our block count by one so we can write minus minus uh, this will decrease our block count and uh, we want to call this method every time we hit our block so we have to subscribe to this function uh, to this event so we know when it is being hit so 
uh, it is called on being hit so now we want to access this somehow so in the uh, in the start function we want to subscribe to this event so let's write for it start and uh, yeah we actually need start and let's first define the array of the block so we want to find uh, block array where is block array we want to find all object of type block so we will find all the blocks that are, that are in our scene and yeah why, why uh, okay and it should be find objects because uh, there's more than one and also we want to assign the number of blocks to block count so it will be equals to the count of our array it's actually length it, it's called length when you have array and we want to call the function that is called subscribe to event and we didn't haven't created it yet but we will do it now so we want to subscribe to event it will be a void so we want to subscribe to each of the block that we have in array so we will use a for each method uh, for each loop and it will be for each block that is called a block in small uh, letter in block array so it will iterate uh, through every block that is in our array and we want to basically uh, subscribe to its event so it the event it's called on being hit and by uh, if you want to subscribe you just have to write plus equals to hide block not hide block to decrease uh, block count so now every time uh, some block uh, it shouldn't be with the parentheses so every time now if the block is being hit uh, this method will be uh, called because we subscribe to that event so the block is giving us the information that yeah i was hit so i'm telling uh, to the world that to my all to all of my subscribers that uh, i was hit so now you can do whatever whatever you want uh yeah in that situation so the same with the video uh, you get the notification that uh, your favorite youtube creator uploads the video and the method that you call is uh, watch so you basically have void watch and you just go and watch it or you can do some other stuff so uh, it will decrease uh, our block count and i also want to make the block disappear and we can do it here so when once we get uh, got get hit we can make our block disappear game object that set active to false this will make our block disappear okay so let's go to our uh, scene and let's see if it works so let's check if i save the file okay and now it should work first we have to create a block manager game object so let's write block let's call it block manager i reset its position and i will drag a block manager script on it i'll move it up because i i like to keep everything uh neat and tidy okay neat yeah you say neat so you have this array that is zero for now block count is also zero we will populate it and uh, uh, in runtime so you you don't have to drag them here uh we just have them here to visualize it and to debug so to see if everything works correctly so another thing we have to do is go to the prefab let's go to the block and we have to add this uh, script to our block so it is called block and yeah you add it to the prefab and now each of the prefab should have this block script okay so once i click start you should see that this should populate and we should have a uh, four number here and as you can see we have all the blocks here and we have block count of number four and now if i drag let's see if it uh, if it disappears and it does okay so it's working uh, perfectly fine and you can see that the block count number decreases so it's very nice 
and okay so i think that will be it for this video guys because uh, it's too long in the next one we will make uh, the blocks reappearing once we uh, click on the game again so uh, if you hide all the blocks that are hidden they will reappear again once you uh, click on your mouse okay so that will be it for this episode guys thank you for watching and sorry for that poor explanation of the events uh, I, english is not my native language and i don't know how to explain it well in english but i try my best but maybe in future I will explain it, it uh, better. I will explain it, it better. So uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.